Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeremy. My topic for today's informative speech is about the hidden risks behind personalized search. In the following four minutes, I will briefly talk about what personalized search is, and I will move on to the growing concern from authority uh, about the negative side of it. And in the end, I will share my opinion about this topic. So what exactly does personalized search stands for? Uh, basically, according to a man called James Pickcock, uh, pop he published on a magazine called uh, Communication of the a ACM, Association of Compu for Computer Machinery. He stated that personal personalized search refers to search experiences that are tailored uh, specifically to an individual based on his interest by incorporating the individual's information and beyond specific query variety. So put it in a simple way, personalized search is like tailoring your clothes. And everything you get from the search engine is uh, entirely customized based on your personal interest. Let's take Google for example. When you go to Google and you type in your query, then Google will st store your data. And as you return to the search engine, it will gradually uh, build up a search build up your search habits. And with this information, Google can better understand your search habits and preserve up more relevant data for you. At first, this might seem to be a wonderful thing, which saves us from the troubles that we don't have to spend too much time to find the information that we need. But convenient as it seems to be, uh, the prevalent application of personalized search in different fields such as social media like Facebook or search engine like Google has raised controversial issues that it can in some way has raised controversial issues that it can in some ways create a problem if we don't pay attention to it. So what might be the problem when I refer to the personalized search hidden risks? Uh, according to Eli Fraser's in his TED talk on Beware of online filter bubbles. He states that uh, if I search for something and you search for something, even right now at the very same time, we may not get very different results at the, uh, at the same time. And to think about it for a second, there's no standard Google right now. And personalized search moves us very quickly toward a world that the internet is showing us what we think we want to see, but not necessarily what we need to see. And that is something we need to pay attention to it. And as Eric Schumann, the CEO of Google said, uh, it will be very hard for people nowadays to consume or watch something that has not been tailored for them. So in my opinion, I do think this is a problem. And the thing is that personalized search in some, to some degree will decrease our chance to find our, to get more new information because it simply focus on relevant data and it also only focus on our search records. And it also might validate some privacy problem because uh, the users may not be aware of that their search data are collected and the search results are presented personalized for them. So we may have to sacrifice our objectivity as well as our privacy just in exchange of some user performance enhancement. So in conclusion, I think that personalized search may in some way improve our online performance, but it may also narrow down our perspectives and introducing us only relevant data instead of some new and challenging perspectives that we are seldom ex be exposed to. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.